7 Players Who Switched Countries Before the 2022 World Cup In the recent case of Athletic Bilbao forward Inaki Williams, he has changed his allegiance from Spain to Ghana. The forward mentioned that his unprecedented love for the country influenced his decision. As the player visited Ghana and the hero worship, he received encouraged him to choose the path. Williams will now play for Ghana in the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Footballers frequently switch nationalities which causes controversy and debates. Before it became more common, the FIFA tightened the rules and also, we have seen many legends switch allegiances to benefit their own careers. Wanna know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about 7 players who switched countries before the 2022 World Cup. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. Inaki Williams, Spain, Ghana Inaki Williams is probably one of the biggest surprises for Qatar 2022. He played for Spain U21 and won match against Bosnia and Herzegovina. But according to FIFA's new rules, he became eligible in July to defend Ghana's colors and be at the next FIFA World Cup with the African nation. On 20 March 2015, Williams received his first international call-up, being named in Albert Salade's Spain under-21 squad for friendlies with Norway and Belarus 54. He made his debut on the 26th against the former, replacing goalscorer Munir El Haddadi at halftime of a 2-0 friendly win in Cartagena. Williams was listed as one of 11 standby players for Vicente del Bost Spain squad at UEFA Euro 2016. He made his senior debut on 29 May, replacing fellow debutant Marco Asensio at the hour mark of a 3-1 friendly defeat of Bosnia and Herzegovina. In September, he received his first call-up for friendlies with Brazil and Nicaragua. He made his debut against the former, playing the second half of the 3-0 loss in Le Havre. He was selected in Ghana's squad for the finals in Qatar. Within the team, he was nicknamed Kweku due to the day in which he was born, a Ghanaian custom. Americ Laporte, France, Spain Another big name that changed nationality is Americ Laporte. The Manchester City centre-back was considered by France for the U-17 and U-21 teams but he was unable to play during the qualifiers for Russia 2018. He said in 2016 that he would consider a call for Spain and it happened. So he played all the Euro 2020 with them and now is probably going to be in the starting squad for Qatar 2022. Near the end of the winter transfer window of January 2018, Laporte signed for Manchester City for a reported fee of £57 million. His contractual release clause amount and a record-breaking figure for both clubs. He was given the number 14 shirt, while Bilbao immediately spent around half of the fee on Inigo Martinez as a replacement. Just one day after signing, Laporte made his Manchester City and Premier League debut against West Bromwich Albion. City came out victorious winning 3-0 as they kept up their title charge. He went on to make 13 appearances throughout the season for City helping them accumulate an unprecedented 100 points in a Premier League season. He made a total of nine lead appearances, meaning he was eligible for a winner's medal. Rogelio Funes Mori, Argentina, Mexico When Mexico needed a striker, Rogelio Funes Mori appeared as the best possible option. Raul Jimenez was injured and the Monterey forward received the approval to play for El Tri. So Gerardo Martino did not think twice and called him for his squad. He used to play for Argentina, but the competition was too rough, and he decided to lead the ones from the Con Mebel to play in CONCACAF. Early in 2019, Funes Mori inquired FIFA about the possibility to play for Mexico 36, but was deemed ineligible. In 2020, following a change of rules regarding naturalized players by FIFA, he was deemed eligible to play for Mexico and restated his interest 38. On 14 June 2021, Fumes Mori was granted his Mexican citizenship, making him eligible to play for Mexico. On 3 July 2021, he earned his first cap with the senior national team under manager Gerardo Martino in a friendly match against Nigeria, scoring on his debut in the team's 4-0 victory. 
Funes Mori participated at the 2021 Gold Cup, scoring a total of three times. Mexico finished runner-up after losing the final to the United States 0-1. Otavio. Brazil. Portugal. Portugal and Brazil have a long story of players that could have defended both colors due to their history. Otavio is the most recent case of this. The midfielder was called for Brazil's U21 and U23 teams, but in 2021, he was given the opportunity to play for Portugal, and now he has big chances of playing at Qatar 2022 with the European side. Otavio became a Portuguese citizen in March 2021. On 26 August of that year, he was called up to the Portugal national team by Fernando Santos for 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against the Republic of Ireland and Azerbaijan and a friendly with Qatar. He made his debut against the latter, scoring in the 3-1 win at the Nagyardi Stadion in Debrecen, Hungary. On 24 March 2022, Otbio scored his second goal opening an eventual 3-1 home victory over Turkey in the semi-finals of the World Cup qualification playoffs, and later providing an assist for Diogo Jota. In October, he was named in Portugal's preliminary 55-man squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, being included in the final 26-man squad for the tournament. Matty Cash, England, Poland Matty Cash was born in England, but he is now defending Poland's colors. In 2021, he decided to change nationality and play for his mother's country. He was first called for Qatar 2022 qualifiers and played against Andorra and Hungary. But there are big chances for him to be a starter in the next FIFA World Cup. Cash started his career at Wycombe Wanderers and later the Fab Academy before he signed his first professional contract with Nottingham Forest and established himself as a regular at right back. He signed for Aston Villa in September 2020. Born in England, Cash has Polish ancestry on his mother's side. He received his Polish passport in October 2021, qualifying him to play for the Poland national team. He made his debut the following month and represented the side at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Cash is of Polish descent through his mother. In September 2021, Cash applied for a Polish passport. His application for citizenship was signed on 26 October 2021 at the Masovian Voivodeship Government Building in Warsaw. On 1 November, Cash received his first call-up to the Poland national football team for their 2022 FIFA World Cup qualification matches against Andorra and Hungary. He made his first appearance in a 4-1 away victory against Andorra on 12 November. On 11 June 2022, Cash scored his first international goal in a 2-2 away UEFA Nations League draw against Netherlands. Alfonso Davies Davies plays for the Canadian national team. Although mainly playing as an attacking fullback on the left flank, Davies is capable of playing as a wingback, left midfielder, or winger due to his explosive pace, dribbling, creativity, and crossing ability. He is considered to be a highly promising young player in the media. In May 2022, Davies was called up to the Canadian squad for two CONCACAF Nations League matches and a friendly. In the June 9 game against Curaçao, he marked his return to international competition after his myocarditis-related absence with two goals in a 4-0 victory for Canada. In November 2022, Davies was named to Canada's squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. In Canada's first match of the tournament against Belgium on November 23, he failed to score an early penalty in an eventual 1-0 loss, with Thibaut Courtois saving his shot. However, four days later, he scored Canada's first-ever goal at the FIFA World Cup in a game against Croatia. Still, Croatia came back to win 4-1, eliminating Canada from the tournament after two matches. Amadou Onana on 18 May 2022, Onana was named to the squad for the four 2022-23 UEFA Nations League matches on 3, 8, 10 and 13 June 2022 against Netherlands, Poland, twice, and Wales respectively. Onana made his full international debut against the Netherlands on 3 June 2022. Amadou Onana plays as a Belgian professional footballer who plays as a defensive midfielder for Premier League club Everton and the Belgium national team. So what are your thoughts on this? 
Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.